Hey guys, how are you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review. This movie is a horror film from the UK, English language, released in the year 2021, directed by Ben Wheatley. And this film is called In the Earth. So In the Earth is about some scientists who are going to travel to the secluded woods in order to take some tests. Now these tests are related to a virus that has taken over the world. It's very similar to coronavirus. It's not specifically named, but they have to have tests before they can actually go. They have to isolate all the rules that we have to follow as people these days. So when the scientists get to this secluded area, the scientists in charge of this uh, this investigation says be careful because these woods change people when they go in they come back out as different people and they're scarred and so they don't know what it is but there's a very strange presence uh, that is residing inside and so these scientists take that with caution they go in there expecting an easy job of collecting soil and samples in order to do these tests but what they get is a hallucinatory spiral into a living nightmare so what that nightmare is something you're gonna have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis now my thoughts on In the Earth. I had highly anticipated this movie for the longest time. I was so excited to see that Ben Wheatley had another film coming out, but for reasons unknown, it took forever to come out here in Australia on DVD. So Ben Wheatley is one of my favourite directors. He's a director that creates a very distinct style of his own. Kill List and A Field in England are amongst my favourite movies of all time because of the fact they're so different. And this is a director who has a lot of confidence because he's very, a very acquired taste. And the best art is subjective art. A lot of people are going to like it. A lot of people going to hate it. This is not a generic storyteller. This is a storyteller who is willing to actually appeal to his fan base. His fan base is the reason why he's such a big name and he's paying tribute to that fan base whereas he's not actually giving in to the majority. He doesn't want to make films solely for the purpose of making money and that's what mainstream Hollywood does and this is what a lot of directors do. They fail to create their own style because they're worried about the negative feedback whereas Ben Wheatley obviously doesn't care about that feedback because he makes movies that stay true to him and stay true to the people that like him. And so coming into, into Earth, I was very excited because this is a director who hasn't really disappointed me yet. And I was hoping that he would maintain that style in, in the Earth. And after finally watching this film the other day, I will say that this movie exceeded my expectations. This is right up there with classic Ben Wheatley. And it's definitely a movie that's going to split audiences down the middle. I saw a few reviews on IMDb and a lot of people absolutely despise this movie because it's not a generic way of storytelling. It's a very confident way of storytelling. And in today's world, we're so used to generic storytelling, whereas this movie takes a completely different spin. This is a film about environmentalism. It's a movie about Mother Nature and how we treat Mother Nature and the, the power of nature and the power of violence viruses and how we react to viruses and that hallucinatory sort of aspect of mother nature in this movie creates a very surreal experience and that surreal experience is very typical to that of Ben Wheatley. If you like films such as uh, Field in England especially where it has that hallucinatory trip into a fever pitch nightmare, In the Earth is definitely for you. This is a film that doesn't rely on barbaric violence, although there is some violence in the film. I thought it definitely relied on its atmosphere and the atmosphere was just so absorbing. This is a very minimalistic a horror film. This is a movie that does have very minimal storytelling as far as a story that evolves, has very minimal characters, but what it does is it creates a complexity within that minimalistic quality through the overall visuals. These visuals, it's something simple as to going into the woods, but when they go into the woods, it's like they've entered another world. And that world is very disorientating. You don't know which direction this director is going, but you can't help but feel lost in the imagery that he creates. There's a lot of strobe lighting, there's a lot of very vibrant colouring that just makes a nightmarish atmosphere, and this is exactly what I want wanted from a horror film. That's exactly what I wanted from Ben Wheatley. Uh, it's very reminiscent of A Field in England, which is a slight criticism I have of the film, but I will say if you are into environmentalist sort of lost in the woods sort of horror, then this movie is definitely for you. It has some really bizarre set pieces that just took me off guard. And because you don't have a safety net, because you have no idea when, where Ben Wheatley is going to take you, you have no sense of control. So it's like a car that's gone, you're in the passenger seat, but no one's driving, and you're hoping that it's going to stay on the road, but you're all Always fearing that's going to veer off and so the way that this movie veers off into different territory I thought was incredibly interesting and so not only is the cinematography absolutely fantastic not only is the complexity to the minimalistic storytelling fantastic but the acting is fantastic as well especially from Reese Shearsmith if you are a fan of UK cinema Reese Shearsmith is a household name even in television uh, he plays a character that is incredibly strange but he has been uh, victim to the circumstances and victim to his environment and the way the environment 
it shapes these characters I thought was absolutely terrifying and it terrifies you in a way where it doesn't really have to try to do much is because the overall atmosphere molds these characters in a way that they're completely different by the time the film finishes. So it is a, a very fever pitch nightmare, it's a very uncomfortable feeling that the film produces and it's also a very a shocking in some of the scenes but it doesn't rely on that shock value, it just relies on slowly absorbing you in a way where it's very disorientating and you feel as though these woods are a completely different world and this is where nature is taking control of humanity and basically taking back what belongs to them, basically these woods. This is nature, this is their world, and when humanity goes into nature, this is where nature engulfs them in a way that I thought was classic horror. And so I thought the soundtrack was fantastic. Uh, very, very Ben Wheatley. If you are a fan of this guy, you know exactly what I mean. He just takes stuff in a very minimalistic way, but he just creates a, an experience that you just have to see. If I had criticisms of In the Earth, is that it was very similar in some of the aspects of Field in England. If you've seen a Field in England, that does have a very hallucinatory way about it, but there were scenes in this film that reminded me of that movie. So it wasn't completely inventive in its creativity, but pushing that aside, that's only a very, very minimal criticism of what was just a very bizarre horror film that demonstrated the very good performances from the acting. As I said, especially Reese Shearsmith. It does get down, go down into a very creepy environment that will just engulf you and have you transfixed to the screen from start to finish. So it doesn't look like much on the outside, but once you delve into the heart of this movie, it is quite symbolic, it is thought provoking, but it's incredibly dark. So be careful, but if you are into Ben Wheatley, this is essential viewing. So as a result of that, I'm going to give In the Earth four and a half stars. Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, keep watching movies and I'll see you later.